Yo, <clears throat> we are here, and we're going to do what we can tonight. I know I started a lot later than I should. I'm just going to delete that. I know that automatic tweet thing comes out. All right, hold on. Just making a tweet. Check it out on YouTube Gaming. What up? What up, Chris? What up, Colton? What up, Braxton? Got out of school today. Nice. Good to hear. What up, Scott? What up? What up? What up? Yeah. Today's a three-day weekend too, so I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about that one. So tomorrow I'll be streaming like during the day. Uh, probably gonna do the UAB Dynasty then. Um, Sunday I will not be streaming because it is my dad's birthday. Uh, so I gotta go see my dad. <laughs> get ready to beat some. Get ready to be, get beat by, by Purdue. Nah, I'm gonna whoop that ass. What up, the, what up, rapper? What up? Uh, I slapped a cat when I liked it. <laughs> Weed up. I've returned. You have all returned. You have all returned here. All right, so we're going to just touch on recruiting real quick. Now that we got June 11th is your last day. Damn, that is a long time. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get focused on recruiting here, and you need to figure out overalls. And are we making any progress on them? Um. Yeah, we're not catching up on him. And we could probably be more aggressive towards it. Ah, well, actually, no, I can't. I just got to keep winning games is all. Um, Are we catching up on him? No, but I would like to have this guy. Let's be aggressive. Um, 30 points. Let's go up. Let's go up to 500 here. Let's go 620. Let's go 620 here. 700 here. Yo, what up? If you guys are watching this on YouTube Gaming, uh, there is a sponsor button right there. It's kind of like a Twitch subscription. Um, if you guys don't know what it is fully yet, uh, it's kind of like being a Twitch sub. I'm still working on the emotes. Um, Solo, uh, Star Wars story is amazing. Nice. I'm glad you went to go see it. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan ever, so I, I don't know. I know I get the reference. I get all the Star Wars references. Dude, I want to see Deadpool too. Deadpool's like awesome as fuck. Ooh, he took the lead on Bob Smith. Deadpool 2 looks freaking awesome. They messed up the Han Solo character in the movie. Pe people who has noticed are boycotting the film. Oh, really? No, that that's two different ones. I think you're thinking of another one. Boycott Disney Star Wars. Yo, I mean, I I haven't I've watched a couple of the Star Wars films, 
Uh, but I'm not like a huge Star Wars fan. Uh, I'll admit it. I'm like, I'm okay with Star Wars. I like I said, I get the references when people make a reference of Star Wars. I'm just like, oh yeah, that's a that's a Star Wars reference. And then it's like, cool. I haven't seen any of the films. And then people call me a plebe because I haven't watched Star Wars. Ooh, let's check out that top, let's check out that top twenty-five. Ohio State is number one. No, Mark Hamill is not my dad. Uh, Alabama 2, Oklahoma 3, Washington 4. Any good ones here? Kansas State, number 11. That's interesting. Um, Louisville at 15. Arizona State at number 18. Indiana 20, North Carolina 21, Washington State 25. Oh, they got destroyed. Dude, if Mark Hamill was my dad, do you think I would be sitting here? Do you think I would be actually having, like, I, do you think I would actually be living in Iowa? <laughs> I'd probably be living in Florida. Let's be real. All right, so we have three undefeated teams in the East and one undefeated team in the West. Navy and SMU lost. So, wow, look at SMU's offense. It's a 90 overall. How in the hell? Oh, no, it's all good, Kingly. We get it. I get it. No worries. Just glad you're here. We haven't started anything yet, so we're good. Uh, wow, SMU's got a 90 overall offense, but they have no defense. That is tragic. That is absolutely tragic. There's really not much to go over with, though, in, in the after the first week. It's like, okay, we're starting to set up everything up. So, anyway, we're gonna get on with this game against Purdue. Look at that offense. Look at that. De look at the rush defense versus the pass defense. Uh, it's, actually, our defense was improved, which is weird. Our def our offense is certainly, you know, we don't have the number one pass offense anymore. I don't think we're gonna get that anymore. It's hard it's hard to pull off number one rankings outside of like wins in uh, the overall ranking. Like if you're trying to be the number one uh pass offense, if you're trying to be the number one in any statistics other than run defense, I mean, that's pretty hard to do within itself. Sonny Dykes is a good coach. He's Chris Peterson 2.0. We'll see, man. It's a pretty even matchup. Let's see what kind of uniform options I can get Purdue. Do they have anything other than old gold? Hmm. Do they have the gold pants? I might wear white at home just so I can see the variation. He's coaching SMU currently. Okay, I can see it. When you do an MLB The Show again, I'm going to do it on uh, Monday. Mondays and Wednesdays will be the MLB streams. And then I will do the uh, NCAA ones on the weekends. So tomorrow is going to be the UAB Dynasty.
The gold jerseys? Do they even have gold jerseys? No. They don't even have gold jerseys. That's unfortunate. Uh, hey, it's all good. Default Heisman, huh? Yeah. Dude, when you've played a game for so long, you start to pick up on the game's tactics. It's not even a matter of difficulty at this point. It's a matter of, okay, I know what the computer's going to run on certain plays. It's that simple. And I wish the Celtics would pull their head out of their ass. That ain't going to happen today, I think. We'll see you in Game 7. <laughs> Win the 2018 World Series with the Athletics. That'll be hilarious. Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The warm-ups are just about complete. I mean, Operation Sports has it kind of like, you know, it doesn't really matter. Because it's all the same. Like, I feel like the Heisman difficulty, if you're, unless you're like, Yeah, you can pretty much predict your matchup. It's not even that hard. It doesn't matter what sliders you run at this point. Exactly, Chris. Exactly. Like, if, if I can tell the computer's going to run a screen pass, then I have every right to intercept it. Celtics Rockets in the finals. If the Celtics pull this one off, they are playing like ass right now. They need to stop playing like ass right now. They cannot let LeBron do LeBron things. That is what's going to kill them in this game. And it's going to irritate the living hell out of me to see LeBron go off for like 45 points and 15 rebounds and 10 assists. It's not that I hate, it's not that I'm hating on his greatness, but it's like, if you just stop LeBron, you can stop everybody else. I don't see how that's an under, a difficult concept to understand. Celtics will win game seven if there is a game seven. LeBron, LeBron's overrated. I wouldn't call him overrated, but he's definitely not. Like, he's definitely put the eye in team for this, in this series, in this playoffs, really. He has put the eye in team. And that's why I don't like LeBron. LeBron's not underrated. Don't, don't give me that underrated stuff. He's not underrated. He's definitely not the GOAT, but he's definitely not underrated. Or overrated. He's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them. Oh, hi. Hi. How did you get that to that pass? I'm scared now. But you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you Did I hope the Rockets make it too? Well, we'll see how the Rockets do. Because um right now it's like CP3's out for game six. The rest, I know he does. I know he has to put the eye in team because the rest of his team is garbage. But if you stop LeBron, you stop the rest of his team. And if they can't defend LeBron, then I don't know what to tell you. They're still down by 12 in the third. Ah, I only lost two yards. Okay, that's not that. That's not that bad. <laughs> Seeing LeBron gasp for air in Game Five was hilarious. Yeah, he got pr he got burned pretty bad in that game. Like when Jason Tatum whizzed by him for a layup, you could tell he was exhausted. Well, yeah, because every time he pa he gets a pass off for an assist, it's like going for a layup or something, which isn't that hard to get. I, I could I could ditch an assist to somebody to a layup. What's up, Andrew? All I'm saying is that he's not going. He and he's passing it, and even sometimes he's passing it out to Kyle Korver. 
And Kyle Korver is like good for maybe three or four shots a game that are good. At least for a three pointer. Other than that, Kyle Korver is not going to really go out and burn you. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49. Kyle Korver is not going to go out and drop 40 points on you. Ugh, wow, I lost seven yards on that. Oh, my God. Fourth and two. Well, they get all those yards, but you're just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution. Yeah, I'll punt. I'll be a good sport. Gonna get the first down. Pratt awaits the snap. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Ah, too much. So this one goes in. What's good, Brody? That'll be a touchback. How about that decision? Love's not coming back. He's got a concussion. And short with your team in this situation, you gotta go for it. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And for some reason, Jeff Green thinks he's now like the second coming of God or something because he's draining everything. Jeff Green has gone off this game. That that's. Ugh. Boston's winning game seven. They have to win game seven. It's like, it's, the more I see this kind of stuff, the more I think, like, man, the NBA's got something up their sleeve. Because both series are going to go to both, both Western and Eastern Conference Finals are both going to game seven. The NBA's got something up their sleeve. They, they have to. They have to have something up their sleeve at this point. I don't know if it's for ratings or if it's for... For lack of parody reasons, I have no idea. It just looks too suspicious. Sometimes the NBA just does really stupid st shit, you know? He fights forward to about the 40. It's almost like they're trying to... Some players are just purposely taking games off. Like, Jason Tatum is probably... Is probably looking like he's taking the game off. It does. It honestly does. Like, it kind of looks suspicious seeing uh, both series going to Game 7. I ain't hating on Jeff Green, but he's definitely disappeared since he's been in Cleveland. And all of a sudden, you know, like, he comes out of nowhere and starts dropping threes like it's no big deal. We'll see how they, we'll see how they re react in Game Seven, though. One player that has definitely disappeared since Game One in in Boston was uh, Marcus Morris. He has definitely like he's become a liability. That dude's become a liability for sure. All he does is go out there and get fouls. That's all he's good for is getting fouls. Not trying to call him like a dirty player or anything, but he's definitely taken his fair share of, you know, cheap shots. He should just go out and shut up and play. He hasn't had his game do the talking since game one. It's okay to be a trash talker if you can back it up. Dude, Sacramento hasn't been to the playoffs in how long? The Pacers have the Pacers should have beat them. I'm gonna be real. The Pacers should have beat them in that series, but they can't let LeBron lose in the first round. Oh, that was an interception! Oh my God, get out of here! 
Dude, Marcus Morris and Dra versus Draymond Green sounds like a fight waiting to happen. That sounds like they should be in an octagon or something. Beating the living shit out of each other. Oh, crap. Are you serious? We send the blitz and he gets a touchdown? That's ridiculous. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. The Cavs cheated against the Pacers. When haven't the Cavs cheated? They got LeBron on their side. They get every foul call on the man. I'm pretty sure if you look at the foul stats, like you'll you'll see the big difference in the free throws that uh, Cleveland's taken versus Boston. That's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out. Dude, the Vancouver Grizzlies, that's throwback right there. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. And they push him out. Vancouver Grizzlies. Man, the guy who ran the Grizzlies did not know what the hell he was doing, though. He had no idea what he was doing. Knew nothing about the sport. Purdue might win. Purdue, for real, might win the Big Ten this year. I don't know about that one. That's a pretty tall task, especially since they have Ohio freaking State in their, their conference. Oh my god, Weber, you are slower than dog a pile of dog turds. I don't know how you got beat on that play. Pratt is the putter. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 35 Um thoughts on the cover for Madden 19 Legends Edition? Um, I, pfft. it's T.O. Like, I'm not the biggest fan. Of, I wasn't the biggest fan of T.O. as a kid. I don't really care for him now still. So I think he was, he was a great receiver, no doubt, but he's, no. I don't like it. I personally don't like it. Like, I think they could have done better than Terrell Owens. They could have done way better than T.O. I don't like it when they do those outside runs. It's like it's broken or something. Well, that's the Legends cover. There's a difference between the Legends cover and the actual cover. Isn't there? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Can we stop the run here? That would be great. Terrell Owens is definitely not the po the the cover athlete I would have chosen for that. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a fumble! There we go. Producing a bowl game. Nice. 
That was a definite fumble, too. He got blown down. Goodbye. Good night. Sleep tight. Sleep tight, my friend. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Good old fumble Ruski. What was their record this year? Uh, I think last year Purdue finished six and six. Lucky fumble. Hey, better lucky than good. From the 39 yard line, it's second down. Last year I finished uh, 12 and one, or 13 and one with uh, ECU. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. Won the bowl game against Georgia. Came back from 20 points down. Oh, crap. Here comes the blitz. Dude, Old Dominion's got a big uphill battle to climb. From the 37 yard line, second down. Oh, come on. Can I not get any protection at all? At all? Like, I, I'm trying to look downfield for my dudes, and there's number 52 just getting beat off the ball like it's no big deal. Oh, deep downfield. There we go. Oh, my God. 38 yards on third down. There we go. Got to do what I got to do. Put your head down and just watch. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to go to a team in the NFC. I like to change up every year NFC, AFC. If I stay in one division, if I stay in one conference, it just gets stagnant. Catch the ball, man. Bro. Oh, that is so frustrating. Fourth and goal. That was... That was a pathetic drop on that th on that second down play. Good grief. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and the field goal is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves. Is right Boston now. making it a game again, or are they just still getting their asses kicked? Oh, they're making it a game. It's only, it's down to eight. They're trying. They're trying to come back. Looks like they're ready. It's down to eight, so the Cavs are the Cavs are still, uh, you know, they got a decent mar margin. But Boston also had like an eight-point lead earlier in the game as well. So anything can happen at this point. Deflate the footballs if you're Boston College. I thought this was not the college. This is the NFL that we're talking about. Well, I'm sending the blitz. Quit doing that outside run. I swear to God, that is so broken for the CPU. Oh, my God. They bunch them all up, and then they run outside. That's how they get yardage in this game. It's absolutely stupid. It's ridiculous. If that's the only way they can gain yards, they're, they're pathetic. He's at the 40. He's tackled right well, that was a beautiful play. I thought they were going to run the ball again. Okay, they're throwing like different looks at me. I should, I should probably try and change that up a little bit. Let's well, see, now they go back to their bunched up formations. They're going to run outside. 
fake. This one's going deep to the end zone. There we go. Nope. Get out of here. Nope. Good D. Uh, that last time I checked the Cavs score, it was 83 to 75. Very good tackle in space. He's got and now it's 87-77. So Boston's definitely trying to come back. Like, they were down by 18 at one point, so at least they're giving it a shot to come back. Can we, can we, we can't, we can't tackle shit. This defense is ass. They're actually throwing different looks at me, so that's actually kind of a good thing that they're doing. Although I should have had that freaking interception earlier on that screen pass, but nope, my dude had to drop it, so I guess I got to suffer the consequences. Oh, I got shoestring. My players play like they have zero tackling touch, the zero tackling skills. There we go. Gain a 19 right there. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties. It puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. <laughs> Jeff Brom's getting ball. inside my head. Yeah, yeah right. Nah. We'll see about that. Offense is doing just fine now. I mean, I got a field goal earlier. I should have just got that interception earlier. That's the one thing that's killing me right now is that I didn't get the interception when I should have. Four yards to pick up the first. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. There was a screen pass that they threw earlier that I didn't get to. I had my my dude had his hands on it. That's what's really biting me in the ass. Oh crap, that was a bad pass. I knew it too, as soon as I threw it. <sighs> what in the world? I knew X was open too. I was trying to get it to him and I pressed the wrong button. Alright, I need to focus. I need to focus. is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Purdue's going to take their first time out of the half. Ooh, nice, nice drop. Third and six. What in the world? Timeout. Hold up. Why? What was that? What in the world? I don't even know. Like, what was that play? into the end zone and this will be a touchback all right let's see if he can here we go here's my version of the two minute drill getting out of hand early it's very very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive but they also need to get did he really get his hands on that he probably did I tried to throw it away from him and he still got his hands on it
from their own 20 yard line. Second down. Got a man, watch out here. He's taken down. Ooh, third and inches. All right, we have plenty of time. Follow the blockers. There we go. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. First and ten. Ball on their own 35. Tries to buy some time. There we go. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. That was a that was a zinger right there. I had to get that out of there quickly. Oh, get body, get ran over. Arkansas State is better. <laughs> oh, nice throw there, too. Do I call timeout here? All right, all right. We in scoring position. Oh, we couldn't quite get it. All right, here we go. Here we go. That brings up second and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. We got this. There we go. Touchdown. Three seconds left. Um, gosh. I don't I don't I think I had like less than I have games like that for sure. Like where my offense just doesn't it isn't clicking, but my defense somehow saves the day. That's that's not the case in this game today for sure. I'm still like I'm still losing by 4. But I I don't know. They need to stop letting LeBron just go off. They do. That's the only way you stop LeBron. That's the only way you beat Cleveland is if you stop LeBron. In a game that's this close, you can't Larry Nance isn't going to dunk on you all night. Holds a four -point lead. <laughs> on the ground, inside, and he makes it out to about the 27 Larry Nance doesn't have a great jump shot either. It's like so average at best. Quarters. The Boilermakers lead. 14-10. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He kicks it off. Still well within reach here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Oh, he's spreading out wide. What in the world is that throw? The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. What is that throw right there? That's garbage. That is straight garbage. Oh, you got to come down with that interception. You are in reach of that. <sighs> Get your hands up, man. That's what you play defense for. That's what you're playing defense more for, my dude. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. 
Dude, Arkansas State has like this one thing that just... I don't know what it is. They have like this knack of winning conference championships even though they keep changing coaches. I guess it's called good players. Slings it. Come on, throw a screen pass, dude. Screen pass. Oh, nice drop. Fourth and two. Dude, Northwestern basketball. Uh, yeah, that that's another story. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Oh, they're running. Are you for real? That is a crock of bull. How did he get that? That shouldn't even be a first down. I stopped him in the backfield. That quarterback just turned into Mike Allstop for a second. And yes, I get Mike. Mike Allstop came from Purdue. I get it. That should have not been a first down, though. Let's be real here. Flag, false start. That is a crock of shit. You're not gonna finish the rest of this Purdue game. I'm only up by four. Our, your, your, our Purdue's only up by four, so they could win it. I'm still finding that a crock of shit that they got the first down. Nice, nice hands. Have a good night, Chris. Third and 15. There's no way they're getting a first down here. They just, I don't see it. And they get the first down and a lot more. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so crap. How are they just how did they get so lucky on that Oh, they're getting lucky. They're getting lucky breaks. They are getting so many lucky breaks. It's unreal. Get down. I, I haven't had much luck here so far. I always kill teams in the second half. This is true. But I haven't had much luck so far. So we'll see. I just had them at third and 15, and they get a first down. No interference there. Third and 18. Third and 18, screen pass. Are you for real with this? Come on. Give me a break. Third down and forever. They can't. Oh my God. This is fucking stupid. Right there to make a play. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't reach for the ball. Nothing at all. I, I got it. I'm pressing the catch button. What else do you want from me, game? And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Dude, 11 o'clock is like East Coast. It's like 9.43 at night here. And they can forget about returning this one. Taiwan. Wow. That is quite the ways. Gotta be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have that is absolutely crap. The there we go. First down. He's knocked out of bounds. The 39 yard line. In 
That's first and ten. Ball on their own 39. They'll line up with five wide receivers. All right, there we go. Six yard gain. I have the uniform packs. I have all of them, I think. Oh, shoot. That was almost intercepted. <sighs> Should have just went deep. We take those. Yeah, they got lucky like a bunch of times last drive. I don't even know what to, to do there. It's like... I have them third down in forever, like, three different times. I don't even know. Like, like, what is this? What is this game? First down again. Because that's what we do. That is what we do. All day, every day. Offense is grooving right now. We just need to make a stop on defense just, just, just once. Good throw there, first down. I was kind of looking underneath, but... Oh, my D is very questionable here. Like, we have, we've had opportunities to make plays, but we haven't done them. We haven't made those plays. We've got 10 points through three quarters so far, or two and a half quarters. Looks like we're going to get our, a second one, though. We're about to get another one. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Oh, there we go. Touchdown. Do we go for two? I don't think we go for two here. Not yet. Not yet. It's not the fourth quarter. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. And he hits the PAT. So that's an eight play, seventy. Oh, it's a seven-point game in Cleveland. Seven points to the scoreboard. So our score. Rozier and Brown are going off, but Tatum has disappeared, kinda. And so is Al. Al Horford's definitely disappeared tonight. He's usually up there in points. Like he's only got six points. Al Horford usually got like maybe 15 points at this point in the game. He has definitely been playing below average. Oh, I do too, man. If they updated the uniforms, that'd still that'd be dope. But I don't. They don't. They don't even touch last gen's council games, so I can't say that I blame them. The only team that really has changed hasn't really changed uniforms or like teams like Iowa, um, Ohio State, like the the teams that really haven't changed uniforms in forever. Anyway, are you serious? What is this? What is this game right now? This game is like out to get me right now. This is fucking stupid. This, there's broken tackles literally fucking everywhere. I can't. This is this is ridiculous. I can't even right now. This is fucking stupid. Absolutely stupid. What is this crap? I can't even fucking stop anybody. I'm getting really irritated by the fact that I can't tackle.
Oh my god. You cut my receiver off this pet. <sighs> From even making an attempt to grab the ball. Something good may just happen. So it's second and ten. Ball on the forty eight. Ooh! Was that necessary? Why is there not a flag on that? That looked malicious. Dude just made my dude do a... That dude made my dude do a backflip there or something. Holy crap. There we go, first down. I gotta keep passing. There's like no other option I have right now. <sighs> oh, touchdown. Whoa, 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 what's happening here? Okay. False alarm. I don't know what that was. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know what that was about. I have no idea what that was about. At all. Like, my internet's usually, like, top-notch. Like, what the hell? This is the first time I've ever had this problem since I moved into this house. The only reason I moved into this house is because I have... They have better internet. And I just dropped like 1,400 frames right there for no reason whatsoever. So now I'm concerned. Real talk though, we need a pick six or something like a defensive stop of some sorts. Are you? Come on, make a stop! This is outrageous! Dude's running all over us! Running circles around us! Make a stop! This dude can't pass right now. Make him make him run the ball. Make a stop or something. This is outrageous. There's no reason he should have got that first down at all. Period. Zero chance he should have got that first down. Our pass defense has actually been decent this quarter. Third and four. Come on, defense. Pull your head out of your ass. Like, some of these guys are just standing around looking. There we go. You ain't catching me. Uh-uh. That's a touchdown. That's pick six. Yeah, my shit broke for a second. I don't know what that was. Yeah, Celtics lost this game. Oh, LeBron got 44 points. <laughs> yeah, look what he had to do to get there. Fuck LeBron James. LeBron's about to lose his first game seven. I don't care what anybody says. Nice kick, plenty of distance. It didn't even come on a screen pass either. It's just like 
Okay, simple out route. He over he he overplayed the ball. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick. LeBron's about to pull his first game seven L because he's he's not losing. He's not winning in Boston. And he's about to get swept in the finals. It doesn't matter who he faces. If, it, if anybody thinks that LeBron is going to... It doesn't matter who he faces. He's going to get swept. Yeah, they are beautiful, actually. I like them. I like those uniforms, man. He gets rid of this one. Yeah, this quarterback hasn't really done a whole lot since his first couple of drives that he had. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Let's see. Also, um... Golden State and Houston is going to go to Game Seven as well. He's to the forty. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the forty-four yard line. Oh, he's going to get swept in the finals. There's no doubt. LeBron single-handedly ruined the NBA. I agree with that. Actually, he actually hurts the NBA because there's, it it brings no parity to the league. Seeing him go to the finals every year. I mean, you could say, oh, just, every team around him, every Every other team just needs to get better. Well, it's kind of hard to when the only player that's actually worth a damn, you know, who, who's name another team that did not have LeBron James in the East, or in the name a team that didn't have LeBron James in the Eastern Conference that made a finals this decade. That oh, that's right, no one. No one. The NBA is a joke because of LeBron. Dude, I could name two other people that are worse at dick riding LeBron than Colin Cowherd. Nick Wright and Brian Windhorst. You ever heard of those two? Those two are the biggest jokes in sports journalism. I, I, I get it. LeBron's a good player. Great player. One of the greatest to ever play the game. But he has single-handedly ruined the league. And he's level at the 16. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit. You can say that about Michael Jordan. But there were two other teams. There was... Well, there was two other teams that were in the... Uh, in the Eastern Conference in the 90s. That were actually, yeah. Michael Jordan went to six finals. There were four other teams in that decade, or th actually three, three other teams in that decade because the Magic went back to back in the finals and then lost both. But, no wait, the Knicks went twice. Never mind. Knicks went twice in the finals uh, in 1994 and 1999, um, and then they faced in the Magic in '95, and then the Piston. It was the Pistons in 1990. And it pays off. Touchdown. But the league has absolutely no parity, and it's pretty much because of LeBron. Because the team that goes out and tries to beat LeBron has this other super team out in, out in the West. And that team is either Houston or Golden State. And in the last three years, it's been Golden State. And it might be Golden State again. Because Game 7 is going to be a close one between Houston and Golden State. <laughs> Brian Windhorst fell asleep during an interview. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Celtics in 2010. 2011 was LeBron. 
2012, LeBron. 2013, LeBron. 2014, LeBron. 2015, LeBron. 2016, LeBron. 2017, LeBron. 2018, well, that's yet to be determined. Nick Wright is a joke. He's not even a real, he's not a real reporter. He's LeBron's personal fanboy. Same thing for Brian Windhorst. I think those two are having a competition to see who can dick right harder. No, I'm the biggest LeBron fan. I'm the biggest LeBron fan. I am. I am. Those that, that's what Brian Windhorst and Nick Wright are. And I also, one thing that I also, I kind of want to point out too, is that, um, one thing I do want to point out is, I don't care if you like Russell Westbrook, hate Russell Westbrook, what Colin Cowherd says about Russell Westbrook is absolutely true. Am I on custom sliders? No, these are default. Default Heisman sliders. I, I don't care what anybody says. That right there. Russell Westbrook is not, is not a leader. And I think that Russell Westbrook plays for stats. I think Steph Curry's a better player than him. Simply because of that. <laughs> Where LeBron changed shorts that one game. Oh my god. Westbrook is not... He's not as good as what people are making him out to be, though. Everybody's like, oh, West Russell Westbrook averaged two triple doubles in the past two seasons. Good for him. What has he accomplished with it? Absolutely nothing. Ooh, a first-round exit. A first-round exit this year to the Jazz. Because the Jazz know how to play like a team. What did they do the year before? They got their ass handed to them by Golden State. Oh, no, that, no, that was San Antonio. Never mind. Second. No, wait. They lost in the first round both times. That's right. They lost to Houston for, uh, the year before that. Steph Curry is definitely not overrated. He's the greatest shooter this generation has ever seen. I'd like to see anybody come up and say that anybody's a, somebody's a better shooter than Steph Curry this, this generation. There's no one. Steph Curry is... Really good at basketball. <laughs> Westbrook is over overrated. Indiana lost to Central Michigan. Bruh. You can tell that Russell Westbrook plays for stats by the way he goes for uncontested rebounds. It's hilarious. He has the most uncontested rebounds by any player in the NBA probably ever. Blake Griffin is underrated. Are you sure about that? I think he's a little overrated. Well, actually, I can't say that he's under overrated either because he's actually been improving his jump shot. He actually can shoot threes, which is kind of good, considering where he was at the beginning of his career. So to say that Blake Griffin has regressed, I can't say that he has. Kyle Kuzma is a really good player, too. I really love Kyle Kuzma. They did not give him enough uh, credibility coming out of college. I think he was probably... If, I, if, the, if the Lakers were to redo that draft, they would, draft, they would have drafted Kyle Kuzma first. 
the 18. Over Lonzo Ball. What up, Jermaine? Purdue's going to use their first time out of the half here. Purdue's going to start calling timeouts. Isaiah Thomas is underrated. Isaiah Thomas is overrated. Are you kidding me? The only reason he was successful last year is because Brad Stevens was his coach. Everybody's like, oh, Isaiah's dunk it. Or Isaiah's so good, he's MVP candidate. Then he goes to Cleveland and sucks ass. Goes to LA and he's somewhat better. But he's not gonna start a game for Cleveland because he's got he's got Lonzo Ball. Sitting there taking his spot when I think, honestly, Isaiah Thomas is better the player than Lonzo Ball. The reason they start Lonzo is because if they bench Lonzo, oh my God, just imagine LeVar going after him. Oh my God, that would be the most horrific thing ever. He's tackled around the three -yard line. Just imagine. Just imagine LeVar Ball coming out for his son because he got benched. Lamarcus Aldridge going back to Portland? Absolutely not. I think he likes being in San Antonio. Leangelo Ball is garbage and Lamelo is a ball hog. They're all Lonzo's not even that good of a shooter. I'm a better shooter than like Lonzo Ball. Especially from like especially from three point range and the free throw line. Like, I'm pretty sure like all of you are better shooters than Lonzo Ball. Let's be real. He's a terrible shooter. Have you seen his form? He's like, eh, eh. Where it's just like this. Where it's it's as simple as that's it. But he has to go like swat, like sidewinder and doesn't have a fucking form to save his life. Like who taught him how to shoot? It's horrendous. Whoever taught Lonzo Ball how to shoot needs to learn how to play basketball. Ooh, intercepted. There we go. Dude, what am I doing still going? Carmelo's definitely overrated. Carmelo is selfish. Did you see what he tried to did you see what he said about uh him being a bench player? That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone call like, for Clifford. After that penalty really is gonna set them back. After what Le after what Carmelo said to, about being a bench player or coming off the bench, he's I would not want Le uh, Carmelo Anthony on my team ever, ever. Like it's it's not even a debate. He's selfish. He's a terrible player, terrible team player. Oh Jesus! Nice blocking. Oh god, the Thunder are overrated. They can't play like a team because they got Carmelo Anthony and Russell Westbrook running the show. Another run. And he tackles him hard at the 34 yard line. I know. I know the Cavs won. I'm not happy about it because I feel like they got cheated uh, the Celtics definitely got cheated out of the game, but whatever. Look at Gardner. Look at the quarterback. Seven carries, seven yards. How about that? You like that? <laughs> and he hits him hard at the 46. That's good for a gain of two yards. 
Shaq guaranteed a Cavs win in Game 7. Shaq can't play, uh, predict basketball, man. Don't even try. No one can predict the sport, really. You like that? <laughs> Yeah, LeBron is literally a one-man show. I've been saying this all night. Like, it's it's a it's a travesty when you have to see a one-man show in the finals, facing a, a superpower of a, a Western Conference team, whether it's war, the the Cavs or not the Cavs, whether it's the Rockets or the Warriors. I'm going to disappear for a second. Oh, there it is. Oh, perfect screenshot right there on the interception. Oh, so juicy. Dude, Vegas, if Vegas wins the Stanley Cup, I would literally just... I will buy a Vegas... I will, I will buy a Las Vegas Golden Knights snapback or something. No joke. I've never seen anything like this. I'm not even... A, like, I'm sort of... Like I've fallen in love with their with their their style, I guess. I've kind of fallen in love with the Golden Knights. In a way that I can't like no hockey fan can really explain cuz I'm a Chicago Blackhawks fan, right? So seeing a Cinderella like this is like It's it's different. It feels it feels kind of good to see that this kind of parody brought in the NHL. Three touchdowns, two picks. Ooh, you guys lost to the Sharks. The Ducks, yeah, they lost to the Sharks. Coyotes, they're not going to anywhere anytime soon. Penguins fan, I I feel like they got. They got kind of cheated out of the series in Washington. But then again, Matt Murray kind of let him down a big time. Like Sidney Crosby could only Sidney Crosby and Malkin could only do so much. Malkin and Crosby can only do so much. I would I would definitely go out and buy a snapback for the for the Golden Knights if they ended up winning a cup. That would be so funny. Look at that second half. Oh yeah, Vegas plays together. It's so it is so fun to watch. This that team just they have so much charisma and chemistry. It's amazing to watch. Yeah, they've lost a few games towards the end of the year, and everybody was like doubting them that they would make it past the first round. They're in the Stanley Cup Finals. They 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 get hit, and then they come back twice as hard. That's Vegas for you. They will come back at you twice as hard, and they have one of the greatest postseason goaltenders of all time, Mark Andre Fleury. I got outgained by five yards. Jeez. Tampa Bay got. I don't know what happened to Tampa Bay's offense. It like it disappeared. Like urinating trees video of uh, the congrats, the congratulations lightning video. It it was. Oh wah wah, perfect. It it just summarized the last two and a half games against. The, uh, for the Lightning. They play... Their offense vanished. It was sad to watch. It's like such an uh, offensive guru team like Tampa Bay just disappear like that. Shouldn't have happened. I don't know how you get a team to vanish like that. Sabres will win the cup in 2020. Sabres will win the cup, never. <laughs>
Like, I think if we had a Coyotes versus Saber Sit Stanley Cup, the world might as well explode. The universe will explode if it's Coyote Sabres in the cup. <sighs> Coyotes are winning the cup next season. <laughs> okay. Brett Hall was in the crease. Dude, Brett Hall's one of the greatest of all time. For sure. Ugh. Ooh, level 14. Nice. The Avalanche. Ah, the Avalanche. You never know what you're going to get out of them in a particular season. It's really weird. You're going to either get the good Avalanche or the bad Avalanche. This year you got the good Avalanche. Last year you got the bad Avalanche. So we'll never know what we're going to get this year. Whew. <laughs> the stars cheated in nine. <laughs> if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's take a look at that top twenty-five. Oh Jesus, fifty-nine to three. Jeez. Alabama thirty-seven to seven over Florida Atlantic. Oklahoma 51 to 6, Washington 2 and 0, USC, Georgia, Oklahoma State, Auburn, Florida, Stanford, Kansas State, Texas, Louisville, LSU, Arizona State, Clemson, Oregon, UCLA, Michigan, Oregon State, Utah, North Carolina, Texas A&M, West Virginia and Iowa. Indiana, TCU and Washington State are out of the top 25. Uh, NBA Buffalo Braves in my league. Didn't they, aren't they like the, now the, like pretty much the LA Clippers? I want to say that it is true. Okay, real talk here. I, I have a couple of questions for you guys. Uh, so I've, I'm not 100% sure if they're going to pull off this off. But the NBA, I heard, uh, I've, I've read that the NBA is trying to expand to 32 teams. I've heard this rumor for a couple years now, though. And I don't know what, what's being done. But if there was two more teams, where would you put them and why? One has to be East, one has to be West. My West pick is Seattle for obvious reasons. Uh, East pick. Ooh. See, there's a lot of good options. You could go like Tampa. You could go... Um, you could go Buffalo. You could go uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh could actually really good uh, use a basketball team. Baltimore. Louisville would bat act Louisville would be a good one too, I think. The Raptors will leave reload. No, the Raptors have too good of attendance numbers to relocate. They cannot go overseas though. That is way too much on the NBA schedule. Especially for the flights that you have to do there. That would be brutal. Pittsburgh would be sick because of that rivalry with Philadelphia. Cause let's face it. If you live in Pittsburgh, you're not a Sixers fan. You're not. You're just like, fuck the Sixers, because you hate everything about Philadelphia. 
Nashville, well, they already got Memphis. Memphis has already got the state of Tennessee's already got a basketball team. I don't think one in Nashville would do all that well. A team in Tampa would just create a third team in Florida. Pittsburgh would be dope. Pittsburgh would be dope because of that rivalry with Philadelphia. Granted, there's not many rivalries in the NBA these days besides the teams that are like really good. But just imagine, like the the blood between Pittsburgh and Philadelphia in all their sports, like Steelers Eagles hate each other, Flyers Penguins hate each other, Pirates Phillies still hate each other. Everybody who's in Pittsburgh hates every Philadelphia team, and every Philadelphia team hates Pittsburgh's teams. It's how it goes. Claudemar Village, Iowa. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I would go to all their games. <laughs> I don't care. I, I live like I live in Iowa, so I don't even know if Cl Claudemar Village even exists. But everybody would be driving from like 40 miles out of town to watch an NBA game. At least 40 miles out. Okay, so now, the, another question I'm going to uh, propose to you is, there was already 31 teams in the NHL. And I think there's only 15 teams in the West. I think the NHL said that they were ex trying to expand to Seattle. Now, if you were, if just say Seattle is gets that expansion team, what would you? The Suns will re, re, the Suns will relocate to Pittsburgh, bro. They need to add two more teams, though. Just say they need to add two more teams. Just okay. So if you were to name the Seattle uh, NHL franchise, which what team would you name it? The Cludemar Village Cornfields. That was already confirmed? Yeah, I, I know that. But what would you name the Seattle... What would you name that Seattle team? If it was up to you. Like, name it something that kind of... Like, it, said, it speaks Seattle. Seattle Snowhawks. What is this? Seattle Seahawks 2.0? <laughs> God's piss. <laughs> oh, shoot. Seattle Caffeine Rush. Oh, yeah, because they got Starbucks up. The Starbucks headquarters is up there in Seattle. Um, The Seattle... Hmm... It rains a lot in Seattle. The Seattle Storm? Well, that, that's right. They already got the WNBA team up there. Derp. I, the WNBA is just like way over my head. I completely forget about the, the teams in the WNBA because the WNBA is just that irrelevant. And I'm not saying all these women are bad at basketball, but the, the, marketing, the marketing campaign for the, the WNBA is really bad. Sorry, it's just bad. They don't market the WNBA very well. Oh, probably. Probably. See, they, they can't do the Pittsburgh Hawkeyes because that's not their state name. Like, that, that's the Pits... The Pits uh, Iowa's the Hawkeye State. So, I, it, it'll be really hard for me to, like... It's hard for me to say, like... Well, they can't do it with the Pirates, either, because they already got a baseball team named the Pirates. Well, I'm probably going to get my ass kicked this game, so... Anyway, I will be back in about 15, 20 minutes. The Seattle Volcanoes. It's not really hockey related though. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I'll be back in like 15, 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to end the stream here for just a minute. We'll play one more game. Um, 
and we'll play Clemson. So I will see you guys here in uh, about 15, 20 minutes, okay? We'll play, we'll play this Clemson game next.